Hey y'all, we're on Isla de Sol right now, which is in the middle of Lake Titicaca. Um, what is there to do here if you want to come here? Um, Isla de Sol is an island that's in the middle of the lake. The lake is rather large. Um, the island is mostly uninhabited. The south part of the island, lots of people, lots of tourists, lots of things to do, lots of hostels, restaurants, la da da, infrastructure. North part of the island, a lot of people say is prettier. My thinks it's prettier, I think it's about the same. Um, but what is different about the north is much less infrastructure, much less to do. You don't have like restaurants, bars, you just have three restaurants and they kind of serve whatever they, what, whatever they're serving that night you get. Um, as far as hostels, I don't know, there's six, um, we tried to go to a different part of the island where there was more hostels, but it was a ghost town. Nobody was there. It's a little bit off season for us right now. Apparently it's, uh, coming towards the end of June right now. I didn't realize that was their off season, but apparently it is, um, a little bit cooler, definitely plan for it. If you look at me sweatshirt, I wear this all day long and my coat sweatshirt it's a wool sweatshirt with a wool shirt underneath so yeah it gets quite cold here um, gets into the negative in celsius and um, how hot do you think it gets during the day mm, maybe like 15, 15. yeah um, what else do you have anything else to say uh, there's treks you can do on the island uh, there's different ruins all of them are meh. They're, they're, they're kind of impressive. If you haven't seen a lot of ruins before, you might like them. These ruins are called the Labyrinth for good reasons. It's a big maze of connecting buildings and rooms. Beautiful island, but it's really cold this time of year. Um, cold nights, warm days. Yeah, you can't see the moon. Um, a lot of good things to see, but definitely want to bring a winter jacket. It makes you realize you can be both hot and freezing at the same time. Uh, last night, uh, well, first start, very small island. Um, small population, uh, no cars, no real roads, pretty rural. They have some neat land, so you want to say hi? Hi. We made it to Bolivia. We'll uh, talk to you condor? about immigration a little bit more. Um, that might be a condor. Sorry, we get distracted easy. I think that's a condor. Hey, Yay, you guys, condors. you guys got to join us for our first condor sighting. How lucky you are. Um, so yeah, uh, we're in the middle of Lake Titicaca on Isla de Sol. We stayed on the North Island last or the North part of the Island last night. And we're trekking to the South part of the Island. Some people say it takes four hours. We're not sure. We think we're about halfway through. Um, anyway, it's kind of funny. We stayed at the expensive hostel um, people didn't want to stay there because it cost so much money um, in US dollars it cost us 12 yeah 12 dollars for the night for the both of us it was uh, six dollars per person <laughs> private room private bathroom nothing to show off but is the expensive place in town so it'll give you a little bit of an idea of what prices are like here Um, also on Lake Titicaca, you can go out and see the floating islands. They've made islands out of... But that's on the Peruvian side. Yeah. Can you, if you wanted to do it from Copacabana, could you? No. Okay. Mm Apparently only from the Peruvian side. From Puno. Yeah. Um, floating islands, they're neat. Uh, the people on there are very accustomed to tourists and know how to get money from tourists too, but it was still a neat experience to be able to go out and see houses that are literally floating on the lake.
Uh, don't stay in Puno. You probably may have to stay there for a day. That's the most you're going to want to stay there. Copacabana is much better. Uh, that's the Bolivian side. Cheaper. It's cheaper too, yeah. It's a better town as far as I'm concerned. Um, better things for tourists to do. Coffee shops, places for you to sit. Um, Puno was seems like just a town for people to stop over in a day and then leave. So there's not really much to do there. Um, what else? Well, here we are at the port on the South Island, and you can see right up there are some hostels and restaurants, but we recommend actually walking up the hill, and you can't really see, maybe you can see up there, um, walking up the hill and staying up there if you're staying a night, uh, rather than staying down here. So this is our view from breakfast. We're on the south part of the Island of the Sun, as with the Sol. South part is much bigger and much more developed than the north part. And this is a horrible view for breakfast, isn't it? Obviously, my suggestion is not to stay down by the port where most of the hostels are. It's to come up onto the mountain. There's lots to do up here as well. Uh, there is, if you want, there's lots of really neat hostels, like halfway to hike from one end of the island to the other. It's about four hours. Um, we found a hostel that was halfway in between up on top of the mountain. We're up at uh, 4,000 meters right now, 12,000 feet, one of the higher points in Isla de Sol. Sorry about the wind. And there is a random little coffee shop that sells wine and what else in kind of the middle of nowhere. And they have to haul all that stuff up by hand or by donkey because there is no automated vehicles on this whole island. Um, there's some neat places like that. You can't book anything online. You kind of just have to come here and start searching around. There's not really much internet on the island. A few places down here in the south where it's larger had uh, Wi-Fi, but you had to pay for it. Uh, nowhere in the north had any internet to be found. Like I looked for open Wi-Fi signals or Wi-Fi signals at all. Nobody has internet there. Um, also, you have to pay a lot. Uh, something we didn't know before we came here. We were just walking on the beach and some guy came up and started asking us for a ticket. We're like, ticket? Ticket to be on the beach? I thought he was scamming us, but no. You need a ticket to be on the south and a ticket for the north and a ticket for like the ruins in between. Um, they range from what, like 10 Bolivianos? No, five solas to enter the south. Uh, five Bolivianos to enter the south. 15 Bolivianos to enter the ruins, and then five again to enter the north side. Yeah. Um, so be prepared for that. Uh, we found a few people who was surprised there was no ATMs on the island, had to leave early because they were running out of money. Uh, no, there's no ATMs. It's a small community with not much infrastructure. And you so. cannot uh, use your credit card. Yeah, yeah, no credit cards. You need to bring cash and plenty of it. Um, our hostel, our first night, which was on the north, cost us $12, which was how many Bolivianos? Like 80? Um, our hostel here in the south was much more. I'm sure you could get a better deal. We just happened to like this one. Had a beautiful view. It was 180 Bolivianos, um, which is still what, like? 26 dollars. 20, yeah, 20 saw dollars, yeah. So it's, it's not very much, but you can find better deals if you're looking for them. Um, I think that's all I got. Okay, bye.